एच इमेज फॉर्म हुई है कॉन्केव लेंस आज की ऑलरेडी नो ए कॉन्केव लेंस इज ए डाइवर्जिंग लेंस Concave lens always forms a one type of image, no matter where you keep the object. Wherever we place the object, then this a concave lens always be a same kind of image, the same position and same nature. In between F and G, this is the position of the object. So as I said before, we need to consider three kind of rays to track the image formed by a lens. Here I have played, which is parallel to the principal axis. Since it is a diverging lens, what will happen? And this, after the refraction, this ray will diverge away from the principal axis. And another ray of light that is passing through the Optical center of the lens, so which it does not refract at all and will take the same path without any deviation. And now see, these two rays, refracted rays, are moving two different directions. They are not going to intersect at any point, so it cannot form a real image there. Okay, now. How we can track the image formed by the concave lens? If this refracted ray, this refracted ray is extended towards the backward direction, so this refracted ray is appears to intersect at a point here, and this is the point where the image can be formed. See this. Image is formed on the same side of the lens, so definitely it is not a real image. It is a virtual image. Okay, it's a virtual image, and also it is the nature of the image is upright. It's not inverted image. Okay, then this form where this form. On the same side, okay. And what about the size? The size is diminished. Okay. Diminished. So this is the nature of a of an image formed. By a concave lens, the sign conventions for a spherical lens is also same as that of the sign conventions we have discussed for the mirrors. So, as we said, for a lens, we devise once again. Okay, any measurement that is taken along the Direction of incident ray is taken as positive, and any measurement that is taken opposite to the direction of the incident ray is taken as negative. And again, any measurement vertically above the principal axis is taken as positive. Any measurement taken vertically below the principal axis. Negative. Every measurement starts from the optical center of the lens. Okay, every measurement starts from the optical center of the lens, and if you are measuring above this, vertically above and below the principal axis, it must be start from the principal axis. 
So these are the sign generations for the lenses. And these signs we have to apply appropriately while calculating the object distance, image distance and the focal length of a lens. There is a relation established by the object distance, image distance and the focal length of the lens and which is called lens formula. As per the lens formula, 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by L. Okay, where V is the image distance and U is the object distance and L is the focal length of the lens. And while calculating this object distance, image distance and the principal focus, and we need to apply the sign conversion properly. And then magnification. Magnification of magnification of spherical lenses. Magnification is defined as the ratio of the height of the image and the height of the object. So it is denoted by the letter M that is equal to magnification M is equal to height of image divided by height of object okay and the height of the image is normally denoted as hi and height of the object is ho that is the magnification of lens and there is a linear magnification so the ratio of the image distance and the object distance also provides a linear magnification of the object and that is equal to magnification also can be written as image distance divided by object distance so that is equal to image distance B and object distance equal to U and when we compare these two and we can get the magnification M is equal to height of the image divided by height of the object is equal to image distance divided by object power of lens power of a lens is defined as the reciprocal of the focal length of the lens in meters. Okay. So the power is generally denoted by the letter P. P is equal to 1 by F in meters. Or we can say 1 divided by 100 centimeters. So this is the power of the lens. The unit of power of lens is dioxin. And which is denoted by the letter B. One dioxin can define as the power of a lens whose focal length is 1 meter. So, the power of a lens uh, is for a convex lens is always positive and the power of a Concurrence is also always negative.